Alright folks, so I just want to do a quick video showing this VanQuest Tollcat 2.0 version EDC bag. But before I do, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. Okay, so hopefully everybody made it back. Before we get started, I want to say that VanQuest sent me this bag free of charge in exchange for a review. Actually, they sent it to me. They didn't ask to do a review, so I'm choosing to do one, and I want to disclose that they sent it to me free of charge. VanQuest, in the past, has been an awesome sponsor of the Smoke and Ape channel. I really appreciate the work that uh, I've been able to do with them. I just want to say thanks to VanQuest for being, uh, being a part of the channel. Anyhow, as we get into this, I want to talk about this bag a little bit, and I want to talk about how I use it. I've been using it for about two or three months now, uh, give or take, as an EDC-type bag, mostly on the weekends because I use a backpack during the week because I have to carry things like a laptop, which don't fit into this bag. So mostly this bag gets taken on hiking trips or trips to the park or trips out with the family and uh, just that kind of recreational-type EDC usage. Now I have a collection of gear in here, not to show off the gear, but really to show how this bag is organized and how it can stow gear. But it's not always the stuff that I carry. So when I was getting ready to shoot this video, I just kind of went over to my, my workbench that has a lot of my gear on it. And I just loaded some stuff in here, which would be typical of the things that I would carry when using a bag like this. That being said, let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is this yoke handle. I think that's what it's called. It's box stitched on, as you can see right here, and it has a really good, comfortable neoprene um, wrapping around the around the webbing. I don't really use it by this handle very often, but I can, and it seems very durable, and it's comfortable in the hand. I typically wear it over my shoulder, and what I really like about this bag is it's ambidextrous. So if you take a look at the way that the straps come off of here, they're the same on either side, so you can wear it left or right hand carry. You can wear it on the same shoulder or you can wear it cross shoulder and it tends to be very comfortable. Now you can remove these straps. They're velcroed in here and then they're velcroed in vertically. And then on this side it's just a buckle. But over here you have, I guess it's called a Fast Tex. That's VanQuest branded um, clip that you can get off like that. It's actually got a little bit of a safety at the top as well to keep it from accidentally disengaging. And then at the top part, of this strap you have a sliding shoulder pad which has some uh, breathable mesh here and here and then it has this rubberized texture that keeps it in place on your shoulder which is really handy and it works well so i'll have this on my shoulder and maybe i'm carrying the bag more towards the back more towards my hind end sorry guys i got some batteries charging and uh, i can just slide the bag through here but i can slide the strap through here just moving the bag front and back and it's uh, very easy and very comfortable it's really well designed i guess while we're at it let's just take a look at the back side of this bag and then you can see it's got a breathable mesh that goes the whole way across and then down here is a uh, is a kind of a keeper or belt loop this bag did come with a waist strap but I don't really like that kind of thing on bags like this. So I took it off and uh, I don't know where it is right now. The zippers on this bag are, I believe are inverted, meaning that they're stitched upside down to help with water resistance or water protection. And they all come with these loops, paracord loops on here that make them easy to open. If you take a look in here, and I just have this battery in here. Um, on this side, you have the, the Cordera uh, nylon, but over here you have a hook and loop field. And you can mount things like a CCW holster, and you can go in there and uh, get stuff that's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to reach in there. Um, I've taken this bag to a number of places, including Disney World. And when I was there, they checked my bag every time I would go in or out or into the parks. And uh, I just flipped this top over just like that, set the bag on the table. They searched it. They never searched the back panel. So I just want to throw that out there. I did not carry anything in there, but uh, it would have been... I guess easy, and I'm not advocating sneaking anything anywhere, but you could have put uh, maybe a little bottle of Feel Good or whatever it is that you need to in the back of that bag, and it would have probably made it through the security checkpoint. When you take a look at the inside of the bag, it kind of has like a bucket design. You have this draw, this draw cord here, and then it opens up, and uh, this provides a layer of waterproofing. This not makes it waterproof. But I just have some stuff in here, and uh, it's really just to show how I store it and then just how much room or space that you have in here. So this would just be backup batteries, some medical tape, cigar cutter. I like to smoke cigars. I think I've covered that in other videos. Um, some, some mechanics gloves. 
I, I really like mechanics gloves. I did a video on them and uh, I take them most places that I go. Just a quick monocular that uh, I use from time to time. It's just a fire kit. Um, this is my Essie Azula. I love this knife. It's great. I've had it for years and I use it all the time. Some paracord. Headlamp. This is the SEA1 Arrowhead. A uh, buddy of mine made this sheath and he did a great job on it. I don't really use this for anything, but uh, I do like to keep it in my bag for whatever reason in case I needed to use it. This is actually a pretty neat little device. I don't want to get too much in the gear that I'm carrying, but uh, I take this out with me when I go hiking or in the woods. And it's a bird call. And uh, you can use that to check to see if birds are in your area, or you can get birds chirping using it. Uh, more of an awareness thing. It's, uh, it's pretty cool though, I like it. Um, in the back of this bag, there's a pocket. And I just happen to have a poncho and a, uh, and a survival blanket. A little bit nicer than some of the survival blankets that you may see uh, other folks carrying, uh, the, the dollar store ones. And then I just uh, have a, I guess this is a Sunto. This is the global compass. I actually bought this years ago. I did a uh, a trip where I had to go to the Philippines, and uh, I took I bought this compass so I could take that with me, just so I could do a little bit of navigation while I was there. And then I'm gonna spin this around a little bit. You can see there's another pocket on this side. So yeah, that's the interior portion of this bag, and you can see it's a pretty spacious bucket. One of the things I really like about the VanQuest gear, and the Van actually, you know what? Let me just talk about this top portion real quick. You do have hook and loop field here where you can put different patches and things like that if, if you're inclined to do so. And then here is a pocket that goes up and down. I don't know why you'd put anything up at the top part of this pocket. I don't. But uh, down here I do put things like uh, power bars or granola bars or cliff bars and things like that. It makes it really easy to get to and uh, you can store some different food items in there while you're out, out and about if somebody needs a snack or something like that. All right, that part being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, I guess the first layer of the bag. You have a Velcro pocket here, and uh, I don't have anything stored in here right now, but you, you can put things in there. And typically what I'll do is I'll take things like this flashlight that have a kind of like a pocket clip keeper on them, and I can just put it across this pocket. I don't have anything in there now, mostly because this bag is pretty loaded out, and I just didn't want to have too much junk in there. So just real quick, take a look inside. VanQuest comes with this um, elastic strap. I think it's called shock cord. That's adjustable and allows you to keep different things here. Um, just inside the label, I have one of these large safety pins. I always carry these around. I think they're pretty useful. Bug spray, flashlight, some gauze. It's uh, probably pretty typical of things that you would see in an EDC. On the back side, I have some Blistex, some pens. Um, this is an Exotac, yeah, uh, match case. Um, I don't really need that given that I have the, the fire kit, but that, that's something I keep in there. And then here's a, a Victorinox. I believe this is a farmer. In the back is typically where I would keep things like medical supplies. So I have some more gauze pads and some band-aids, things along those that nature. Um, SWAT T tourniquet. Um, a lot of people don't believe in carrying things like this, and I didn't for a really long time. But um, I watched a couple of videos, I actually posted a video about carrying a tourniquet and then I was convinced that this is something I should have in an EDC bag. So there it is. Some field notes right in the rain. And then a uh, keeper for like car keys and things of that nature. One of the things I really like is that they have the inside of these bags is typically all set by another color which makes it easy to see your gear or uh, the things that you're carrying. All right, let's spin this bag around. Now, what they have here is another shock cord keeper, and uh, you can use that if you're using a side pouch to carry a water bottle. I typically don't. Um, what you have here is some molly webbing, so you can attach panels or packs on here. Um, I, I typically don't. I haven't had a need to, but I can go ahead and open this pocket up all the way. In this one, uh, what I typically will carry, we have a number of these um, in various kits, and they're just pill cases, the Folka pill case. I believe I did a video on this. I don't remember exactly. But it has things like ibuprofen and Benadryl and upset stomach pills and things like that that, uh, that you may need. Some hand sanitizer. I am a little bit of a germaphobe and I worry about that stuff a lot. And then on either side you have a pouch here and then you have a smaller pocket here. 
Now, what they do is um, they tell you that you can go ahead and you can store things like a water bottle in this side pocket, and I've done that plenty, and uh, it works pretty well. But when you do that, you lose the ability to store things in that pocket. <clears throat> the only thing that I would say about this bag um, is it would be kind of a cool idea if there was a second set of zippers maybe that went along here and along the back side of this pouch that if I unzip that then maybe this pocket would come out and there was some elastic webbing where I could put a water bottle behind this pocket. Um, I actually think that would be a pretty good idea and it would allow me to have the option of carrying another bo a water bottle or something like that on this bag or not. Um, I do carry water bottle a lot and then not really having a dedicated uh, water bottle pocket is a little bit of an issue for me. It hasn't really stopped me from carrying the bag. Um, this is a, uh, you can see it's all banged up there on the bottom. This is a, a Nalgene uh, 32 ounce stainless steel water bottle. And uh, I can fit that in there and I can carry it around just fine. But it's, it's a little awkward the way that it's set up. I, d I don't believe that that is an ideal design. I think it's more of a workaround or a hack. Um, let's go ahead and spin around. Again, same pocket set up on the other side. I typically do keep like a carabiner type uh, device attached to all my bags just in case I need it for something. And I forgot, I didn't mention it, this is actually used to go around the top of the water bottle to kind of help keep it in place. So you could carry two on either side. And again, this is just another pocket, same as the other one. And here I keep this in Reach Explorer. Something new I picked up, it's essentially a GPS, but it's uh, internet enabled, where I can send and receive email or text messages on it, which is pretty cool when you think about it. And then probably the most controversial multi-tool that uh, exists today, I got the Leatherman Signal. I love this thing, and I typically keep it in this bag. Generally, I keep it here, inside this pouch, but one of the things that I've noticed is that given the weight of this multi-tool and the pocket clip, if I open this up, it'll fall out. So uh, I've been keeping it in the side pockets lately. Anyhow, I think that's it. I really like this bag. Um, it's The cost is slipping me at the time, so I don't really remember how much it costs. I'll post a link to Amazon below and to VanQuest website where you can check it out and see if you want to get one. It's pretty handy. I love it. Uh, like I said, I EDC it. I carry it all the time. And actually, uh, the reason I was doing this video is, is I was putting some gear in here. I'm uh, going to be taking it on a trip relatively soon, and I just was loading it out. And I said, ah, maybe it's time to do the video. I've been carrying it for a while, and uh, let's just go ahead and get it done. Anyhow, again, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks to VanQuest for sending this bag. If you uh, like this video, uh, please click the thumbs up or click the subscribe button if you want to see more content that is similar in nature. Otherwise, thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate it.